hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to look into a simple django project basically to do crud operations okay so what are crud operations basically so crud operations are nothing but uh, you are creating then reading uh, updating and deleting some of the things in the database okay so to start with first let us understand the django architecture okay so django architecture is like mvt okay model view and template okay so suppose you are a user and you are logging into some of the url then what happens here is okay so the thing is uh, in case of view uh, it has functions stored in it okay so whatever function you are creating with respect to the application uh, those are stored here okay in case of view then in case of model uh, it deals with everything that is related to database okay and the template is nothing but it contains uh, the files like html css etc okay so once uh, you press the url uh, the view sends the request to model if it needs to access some of the data from the db and it takes it from here and it sends it to template and it loads it okay accordingly so this is how a simple django architecture is that is model view and template okay so do understand uh, it like a uh, view is nothing but the functionalities a model deals with the database and template has the files like html and css okay in simple terms now the thing is next thing is we are creating going to create or uh, looking into this django project so basically this is the entire project here okay so to start with the things first you need to have some prerequisites okay so what you can do is uh, just go to this folder so i have created this folder here you can see so first uh, you need to create a django folder okay and then uh, log into vs code here and then you can click on here and you can uh, open a new folder okay so there is option here explorer open a folder okay so since i have opened it so you won't get it but if i do control and okay so this okay let's let me try one more thing new window okay let's try this okay so now here you can see uh, you can open a folder option here right so in this way you can open the folder option okay the django folder which you have created okay so let me close this okay so once you do that uh let me follow the steps okay so first uh, you need to create the folder of django then select the interpreter so basically python uh, needs to be selected there since we are uh, dealing with python django okay architecture next you are going to create the environment so in this way you you can like just try to run the file python file it will ask you to select the environment okay so you can uh, directly specify the path or uh, the vs code directly chooses it automatically okay so it will give you an option either to enter enter the path for the environment or uh, create the environment okay so you can do it as it is so here uh, i have created two two environments basically one is dot v environment and one is conda this is of jupyter notebook okay so anything is fine i was like trying which works fine so both i tried to create because i was getting some errors there okay so once you uh, create the environment uh, the next step is uh, install django okay so basic need uh, so install django that is uh, you can just type pip install django okay so once you do this uh, you are ready to go okay so how to start the project okay so first you need to write this uh, code that is in the terminal okay so just hit on control shift p or you can go here terminal new terminal okay uh, and this is the shortcut for terminal control shift and uh, this uh, slash marks that is like um, comma okay basically it will get, you will get it below the escape button okay so once you open the terminal uh, you can type here okay so what you need to type here is django admin start project and crud okay so django admin start project and crud is the name of your project so basically this is our project so crud is our project okay so inside crud we have everything that is crud and employee okay so once you do this crud project what you can do is first you will be in this folder django so you need to specify the path for crud here so cd space crud you can specify here so then you will go into crud project okay so once you are in this crud project okay so try to run this server and see uh, if it is running or not so basically it uh, runs and it will show you 
the simple Django interface like a uh, rocket is launched something like that okay so once that is done uh, you need to create an app so okay so in my case uh, we are dealing with employee details so I created this uh, give this command python manage.py start app and employee okay so once you give this command here uh, it will create this folder basically inside the crud it will create this employee app okay so it will have similar files in case of crud okay so it will have settings.py urls okay and everything so where where are those yeah url views.py okay so once you do that uh, we need to go with the project okay so let us understand once you okay once you deal with these things like uh, Django admin start project crud and create app that is startup employee we need to start here okay so first of all go to settings that is in case of crud okay so that is here in case of crud these are the settings.py so here you can see inside the crud that is settings.py file is there here you need to add our employee okay so add this app here employee okay so that will do the job so that is the first step second step is go to urls.py of the crud this one and add this line okay so and whatever uh, libraries i have imported here try to import them okay so i'm going to just explain the uh, code here in brief okay so and i will also push this code in the github okay you can find the link and you can start working out okay uh, just uh, try to understand the things here how the workflow is then that that will do the job okay so once you import these libraries what you can do is uh, you need to import employee.urls so these urls are nothing but these urls okay so that is employee show uh, edit update and delete okay and once you do this uh, you need to create the models.py so models.py is nothing but you are initiating the database of your employee so so employee details are employee id employee name employee email and contact okay so this is initiated in models.py okay so once you do this okay you need to go to forms.py and you need to uh, initiate this class here so basically what this class does is it includes all the uh, fields of employee model this one that means uh, once you load the form all the fields are visible there okay that it does next is views.py so models.py it initiated our db and forms.py it will load all the uh, details in the form of the index html okay and then views is nothing but we are creating the functionalities here okay so uh, import these libraries that is redirect render and employee and employee form here so basically these are the things okay then first view is uh, we are creating a post method here okay and we are checking in the form whether it is valid or not so if the details in the form are valid we are going to save it okay else uh, we are uh, returning the form here okay that is we are doing in employee this one next is show so basically it will show you the details of all the employee objects here okay and next is edit so the basic difference between edit and update is so edit will redirect you to the edit details of the employee objects and update it will save it okay so it will save whatever changes you have made in the db itself okay and if it is valid then it will save it else it will uh, redirect to this okay edit dot html and destroy is nothing but the delete method okay so there are four methods here show edit update and delete okay so delete is nothing but destroy so we are getting the employee id and we are deleting it okay that is nothing but delete so these are the simple four methods okay so one is show edit update and delete okay so once you do this you need to create the urls for that that is employee views dot employee then show uh, edit then id and update id and delete an id so it will redirect to id whatever id you are mentioning okay next is index.html so basically we are creating your html template of forms okay so where it is uh, enter details then employee id employee name employee email okay uh, so this is uh, we are creating a simple template of html and uh, it has a submit button okay so submit button is nothing but you are submitting the form or whatever details are there okay and edit.html contains uh, whatever edit options you want that is employee id employee name employee email and employee contact so we are giving uh, every option to edit every details of the employee okay 
and show.html will uh, redirect you to show the employee details here that is id name email and contact okay and this is the css file uh, last one so i have just copy pasted this so that uh, uh, the format is in proper way okay so body is nothing but background then hide okay so these are some things uh, which you need to which you need to look into okay then border i have given then background i have given then for buttons i have given this okay so these are the all the things which are needed to for simple CRUD operations okay and one more thing uh, to create the index is edit and show html templates here you need to create a folder called templates here inside uh, employee okay and inside employee templates you need to have edit index and show html templates and for css you need to have the folder static then slash css okay and name it as style.css okay these are the only things okay and you need to create urls.py somewhere okay so that you need to check it out okay look into this uh these things uh, like how are they and in the way you can try it out okay so but once you do these things like for example uh, once you do this uh, create models for example uh not this yeah this one uh, manage.py startup employee and start project current uh, everything will be there uh, only some ex extra files like html and css you need to add it yourself okay so this is done and last thing is you need to yeah this way this i told you okay so once you do this create folder index html show html and edit html what you can do is uh, this is to run the server basically that means you are running the web app here using this command python manage.py run server okay and last command is make migrations so what this does is so after running this uh, you can uh, try this command okay make migrations here basically so what this does is command uh, it try to adjust your database schema with whatever you have done okay so that is the thing it will do okay like whatever changes you have done it will try to migrate it in proper schema there, okay so once you do that you can uh, just run the server so let's try to run this server i will show you how it is okay so this is the command python manage.py dot run server so once you run this server it will be available at this port here okay so if you click there it will open so it opened here so uh, it is getting error because uh, we have not given the path here so you need to give emp that is what we have specified here for example here you can see uh, urls.py we have given this path emp right so that is why it is showing okay so if i give show let us see whether it will work yeah these are the records available in case of show okay and here you can see uh update and id it is saying okay so let's give id 101 uh, let's see whether it will work update 101 okay it is not giving this okay so this we need to do still okay Okay, this is also not working well, so let's go into this okay so simple credit operations so uh, to add the employee details let's add 105 employee name say let's say superman employee email is super at gmail.com employee contact is 100100000 one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay submit so here you can see uh, these two records were already added batman 2 and batman this we recently added superman okay uh, you can uh, delete this so let's delete batman 2 so it deleted okay and if you want to edit this so in here you can see the last digit is one okay so let's delete this and add nine and click on update so it updated accordingly okay and to add new record you can just click here and let's add one more rec record one two three employee name let's say joker employee email joker at gmail.com and employee contact let's say this okay and submit so here you can see uh, we can add the records here okay so you can delete the records you can add new record you can edit the records and that's it okay 
so these are the things we did today so add new record will take you here okay and finally done so so some uh, things we came across which were not able to do here like update slash in id like update and destroy uh, i don't know what happened there so just check this out like whether these things work okay so we tried this show and employees working fine okay so once you uh, do the job you can press ctrl c it will stop the server okay? so this is the thing so these were the basic CRUD operations used in django okay so look into this every uh, file like how it is try to understand each method properly okay and if you have some doubts you can just comment it out okay i'll try to resolve them okay so hope this helps so this was all about today guys like i wanted to show you a simple django project with some basic explanation of crud that is create read update and delete okay so hope you understood this and learned something from this video okay and remember the uh, django architecture here so there is another architecture that is model view and controller okay so there might be some difference let's look into it in the another future videos okay so this was all about today guys so if you learned and understood something from this video do hit the subscribe button until then take care bye, -bye.